When I graduated from the middle of school, I thought she gave me my diploma and she said, go forth my child and take care of mothers and babies. And I went out there thinking, well, I can do anything Mary Breckenridge said I could. It has been almost 100 years since Mary Breckenridge traversed the wilderness into the frontier that was Leslie County, Kentucky, and her legacy and legend still live large at Frontier Nursing University. She was a gentle soul, and she was brilliant way before her time, and she was very discerning. Just, I just never knew anyone else quite like her. And 75 years after the formation of the school that would become Frontier Nursing University, countless mothers and their babies have been helped through midwives trained here in the mountains of East Kentucky. So our school started in November of 1939. We have about 3,000 graduates um, right now. Now that is going to accelerate quite tremendously because in the first 50 years we would have 12 students a year. Once we started do doing distance education, we had three to 400 students, new students a year. Um, now we have over 1,500 students. We have students in every state in the U.S. and in seven foreign countries right now. And we graduated over 500 students during 2013. So you can see that our number of graduates are going to um, increase exponentially over the next few years. This growth at Frontier is due largely to the school's adoption of the distance learning program that allows students from across the street or across the world access to this special brand of education. Today it's very high tech because we are able to talk to our students face to face online. There's a lot more interaction and I think the education has improved because of our ability to interact with our students on a regular basis and for them to interact with each other. As you can imagine, students from Maine and California and Alaska, they all have different perspectives on healthcare. And so getting them to share improves learning and improves our perspective of the whole world. And while students do get to stay at home for the majority of their time at Frontier, a few trips to Hyden are part of the curriculum. Every single student who comes through our school has to come here and spend a few days with us getting um, imbued with the mission and the history. And also that uh, when they do go home, we, are, we believe that we're a community of learners. And so we kind of preach that and say that when you come to Frontier, you are joining a community. And so we expect you to interact with our students, the other students, inter be interacting with the faculty on a regular basis so that we can learn from each other. And so it is not learning on your own at all. Uh, having a family and having two little kids, Frontier really appealed to me because of the fact that it's online and it's something that I can do on my own time. I can also work a little bit if I needed to in order to keep up my, my other nursing skill sets. Um, and I just felt like it was an overall a good way to mix it into my life. I have a very hectic life right now, but it wasn't... Being a nurse practitioner was not something I wanted to put on hold and Frontier made it possible for me to do all of it at once. Have a family, have a job, and go to school. Also, Frontier recently revamped their curriculum to allow students even more opportunities for growth in their fields of learning. So we educate family nurse practitioners, women's health nurse practitioners, and certified nurse midwives and we've recently undergone a curriculum revision. We previously offered a Master of Science in Nursing and then uh, graduates, uh, our graduates and other graduates could come back later for what we call the Postmasters DNP or Doctor of Nursing Practice. And so now we've revised our curriculum so that we can admit a student and she or he can, can go through a brand new redesigned MSN program and continue quite seamlessly into a Doctor of Nursing Practice or DNP program. And as for these students, they all seem to have one goal in mind, helping those in need. I'd like to work alongside high-risk obstetrics um, as a midwife, and I just have a passion for health care of women in general, but specifically women who are desiring to have a natural healthy experience, and yet along their course something altered their plan, whether it be um, you know, maternal disease or something going on with the fetus that causes them to veer from a path they would have chosen. I'm led to, to comfort them and to help them along with that, and I find that that is a, is a good niche for me between 
midwifery and high risk obstetrics. And you know, after being here and listening to the stories and the, the you know huge history of it, I guess there's part of me that has this um, has this idea or fantasy that I'm going to somehow change the face of healthcare in rural Kentucky, you know, and follow in the footsteps. But we'll see what happens. And then the more I got into the care and more I got into taking care of women and their babies. Um, I just, I really felt a passion for it and my favorite thing is um, when I have young moms come in that are, you know, 15 to whatever and they just, they need guidance, they need love, they need support, they need to know that they can do it, they can finish school and I just feel like, I don't know, that's just really close to my heart and that's what made me want to do it. And even after all these years and advancements in technology, the techniques and teachings of Mary Breckenridge are still what make Frontier Nursing University so special today. The simpler it is, the better it is, the better the outcomes are. This is why midwives don't really do anything magical. They just support the design that was there and don't interfere with it unless it's necessary. Thanks for that great story on Frontier, Joel. If you'd like to know more about where Mary Breckenridge started her life's work, we invite you to come be with us in Hyden, Kentucky for one of the oldest festivals in our state, the Mary Breckenridge Festival. It's the first weekend in October. We'd love to have you as our guest.